Hey guys, it's great to be back. This is Scott Matthews here. We're going to talk about the NBA playoffs, obviously. Game three of the finals going tonight. I've been running all over the country. If you've been checking me out, I was at game two of the Stanley Cup in Boston. I hope you caught my video report on that. Had a good time up there. Was at the Mohegan Sun Casino in Connecticut. Was at the Hot Rock in Atlantic City. And was out on the West Coast in Vegas at the Wynn. A lot of running around, opportunities out there, some good things going on. I hope you've been uh, following our featured reports, cashing in on some good winning that we've been doing between uh, the NBA and MLB and baseball. And I want to talk about this series, guys. You've got an interesting series here right in front of us. It's now tied one game apiece. What a comeback for Golden State in Game 2. In Game 1, Pascal Sakim just dominated that first game for Toronto, hitting 14 out of 17 shots, 82% from the floor. Unbelievable. It's like the second highest percentage of 15 or more shots in a finals game. And this guy did it. Had a huge game. Gave him a big lift. Obviously, Leonard is always a top player. Van Fleet hits his outside shots. Gasol hit a couple of threes. You know, a lot of opportunities. Great matchup series because these teams are good on defense as well as they can pour it on the offense. And now with some key injuries in game two, everything turned around. It looked like Toronto was taking... Going to run away with game two. All of a sudden, Golden State start the second half. Goes on an 18 to nothing run. Unbelievable. Only they can seem to find ways to go on these big time runs. And that brings them right back into the game. Dot takes them into the fourth quarter, controlling the game. And, but Clay Thompson, with like seven and a half minutes left in that fourth quarter, goes out with a key injury. Seems like the same injury like Chris Paul last year. Out of nowhere, a hamstring injury. But Clay Thompson is questionable in tonight's game. But even if he plays, think about it. Hamstring injury is so tough to deal with because it gets in your head mentally, obviously, as well as physically. And will he play as hard as he normally plays? He's a great shooter, but that could change the whole aspect of this game around. You know, let's face it. Van Fleet, great outside shooter for Toronto. You got Lowry. Leonard, inside and outside, one of the best, if not the best, in the NBA. You got the old Warhouse Gassell, and again, Pascal Sakim. If he has a performance like he did in Game 1, this is going to be a very, very interesting, interesting series due to now these injuries. Obviously, Durant doesn't look like he's coming back. I didn't think he would come back from that injury. They've been kind of playing that injury down. You know, making it seem like he has a shot to come back. Maybe he will come back late in the series, but I don't see it happening, guys. We got a game three on tap tonight that looks tremendous. Now we shift. No more Drake. No more Drake sitting on the floor, screaming at everyone, getting the crowd crazy. If you saw the crowd inside the arena, plus all the people outside the arena in Toronto, I mean, they're playing for a country. It's, it's a whole different atmosphere up there. And now you've got to go play at the Oracle against the defending two-time champion, Golden State Warriors. Steph Curry, Draymond Green, questionable Klay Thompson. I think Boogie Cousins is going to be a key in this game. I think if he comes back, now this is his third game playing pretty strongly, that could be a big difference because if he can open it up, not only is he a good passer, but if he can hit from the outside, that's going to open up a lot of channels for Green to move the ball around. You got Steph, Sean Livingston, Andre Iguodala hits that three-pointer. And towards the end, they leave him open, and he puts him up by five, and that was the end of that game. But I have a big-time play I'm going to be putting out on this game. I'll talk about that in a minute. We have a free play on this report. We like Toronto plus three and a half on the first half of this game. That's Toronto at plus three and a half. I think that they're going to come out right. This game, first half, it looks like Toronto's been taking advantage of some mistakes in the first half. And I like Toronto as a live dog, plus three and a half points on the first half play. Hey, guys, listen, it's all about some big-time winning. If you haven't been cashing in on your own, you should listen up because there's some great opportunities that we're putting out there. This is what we do. I mean, this is what it's all about. I'm in this doing this 365 days a year. All year long, for over 30 years, it's my career. I don't win every game, nor do I have to win every game. It's all about money management, consistency, and doing the right thing. And when you got big-time plays and you got the staff that we do and the time I have to focus on these games, 
with key injuries like Clay Thompson and Kevin Durant out. And we know Leonard's banged up. He's not himself. If you saw the end of that game in the last four or five minutes of game two, Toronto made so many mistakes and had chances to come right back in that game, if not even take the lead, even though they were down eight or nine. Golden State missed like three, four, five possessions in a row. Toronto came down and shoots all these three-pointers, and they couldn't hit the side of a barn. I mean, so they had every chance in game two to get a commanding lead and go up 2-0. And now with Klay Thompson out, that could have been huge. But guys, really good opportunities in baseball and really, really big opportunity tonight. I've got a 20-unit selection that you guys could take advantage of. If you go to my site, smpicks.com, just click on the buy button for tonight's NBA Finals game. You see it right there on the home page. And take advantage of it. You can also register to receive free plays. We're not scared to give you free plays here. Trust me. I mean, if you want them, we have them. And we try our best, obviously. But our private service games are the way to go. That's where we put our time, our money, our efforts as much as we can into our private service. Have you been following my 20-unit selections? Because this game three tonight is a 20-unit selection between Golden State and Toronto. And I've got it for you right now by going to my site, smpicks.com. That's it, smpicks, P-I-C-K-S dot com, and take advantage of this 20-unit selection. Plus, I'm throwing in a big-time bonus play in Major League Baseball included in on this price. The price is only $12, guys, $12. That's it. You came to go out to eat for yourself, get a couple of slices of pizza and a soda, and you're spending more money than I can give you on a game this strong, plus a bonus play where I can help you make money. So take advantage of that opportunity. Like I said, I'm looking forward to a big time game three tonight. If you guys have been following also the other championship uh, in hockey right now, we got a 2-2 series there. Game five going back to the garden, which I was there game two in Boston. If you caught my video reports, I've been running around the country, doing a lot of traveling, a lot of casinos. Was in the Mohegan Sun Casino in Connecticut last week for three days. Also in Atlantic City at the Hard Rock for a couple of days. Was out in Vegas a few weeks ago. You know, I'm putting my money where my mouth is. A lot of guys are talking, but I'm out there moving and grooving and putting my money where my mouth is and putting money on these games. And that's the most important thing. Well, you guys have a great day today. Like I said, big time play on this game three tonight. Absolutely love it. There's some key injuries on this game for both teams. The line on this game right now is between five and a half and six. The total is 213 points. I've got a 20 unit selection on the game itself, game three. So if you want to cash in, just hit the buy button you see right now and take advantage of it or go to my site, smpicks.com. Have a great day, everyone. Scott Matthews here with you. I'll be back doing some videos this week, keeping you guys updated on some big-time winning I've got going on. And baseball, MLB, hey, guys, time to build the bankroll. Baseball's almost at the All-Star break in another five weeks from now. They'll be doing All-Star break in baseball. So take advantage of some good opportunities now, and let's cash in and build up the bankroll. Have a great day, everyone. Catch you back here tomorrow with my next video report.